What's up guys, Evasion here, and welcome back to some more 2v2 clips. Today we got some more Shadow Priest Rogue 2v2. I'm just going to kind of talk over them. Uh, these ones are still audio messed up, but I got that problem fixed, so anything I record from this point on should have dual audio again, kind of like what we did uh, two videos ago. Um, anyway guys, please enjoy the clips, and let's hop straight into it. Alright, so this first clip here is against Holy Pally Windwalker, and we're just kind of trying to keep a defensive position and get the Windwalker to move off the pillar a little bit, so that my Shadow Priest can have the pillar and can reset a little bit after we get some damage out. Um, kind of allows me to do the CC myself in the opener too, as Shadow Priest may be a little bit too far to go for it, which is fine. Because um, longevity is key against this matchup, because against Holy Pallies you have a lot of cooldowns to get through. I uh, quickly go for a sap here on the Holy Pally, open up onto the Windwalker. Um, we're just trying to get some damage out. Get our dots up, and I go for a kidney shot off sap. I should have went for half sap first, but that's the way I went for it this game. I pop evasion to deal with the monk's fist here, and I'm just still putting out damage. We force dampen harm and karma out of the monk. I don't know why he overlapped. It wasn't necessarily the smartest play, and I go for a duel just to stop heals from going out onto the monk. Um, out of this, we get some CC onto the pally here with uh, silence and mind bomb. And he actually goes for bubble, so I just have to reset. I vanish when touch of death's on me because the damage doesn't go through when you're in vanish. Um, and then we're just trying to wait out DRs here. We got both trinkets off these guys. We just need a big CC chain and we can win. Uh, the child priest dis or the holy pally dispels the dots. I get a big kidney off of it and then go for a dance cheap shot off of that onto the monk. And then I go for a sap out of kidney shot. And at this point, the monk really doesn't have much to survive, and I still have a full blind off of the sap. So I land the full blind, and I just try to keep some distance here as I'm very low. And it's up to my Shadow Priest to finish the guy off. That's going to be the game. Alright, hop into the next clip. So for this clip, I'm playing a really weird uh, Gloomblade build. I wouldn't recommend playing Alacrity if I was going to do this again. I would probably stick with Dark Shadows. Um, and I'm going to go for a Sap onto the Priest here. And then we're going to open up onto the DK. We're looking to force AMS early. DK is going to blow a lot of cooldowns early to try and kill my Priest before um, they run through everything. Pops his abomination, everything like that, and he's already. Um, we forced out barrier on the priest. The priest goes for trinket um, after my blind, and I duel his trinket. Gets a fear on me, so he can go help his DK. We go for a mind bomb here a couple seconds early, and it's DR'd, uh, which kind of sucks. I'm able to get a kick, I believe, onto the shadow man here, or I go for a kidney shot, full kidney onto the priest, and I call to my uh, priest that I can sap off of it. The priest in combat though, because I didn't notice Mindbender in the cluster of pets, unfortunately. We managed to get Paints up though, and continue riding down the DK. We get through his last cooldown here of Icebound Fortitude, and my priest is forced to swap. He gets a swap off at like 1k health here, I think. Um, gets a nice mind control to stall just a little bit longer. Um, the Mindbender from the enemy priest is gone now, and Kidney DR is off. We got a Mind Bomb, and the priest used Will the Forsaken on it. Um, I'm able to get a full Kidney here onto the priest. And I still have Vanish, so I can try and sap this one last time. There's no way he can stay in combat here, so he should drop. We get the full sap off Kidney, and I get the full uh, cheap shot onto the DK, and the DK goes down. Um, I actually think Gloomblade is really good against Plate in these matchups. Um, during Shadow Blades, you can actually afford to use it during Dance, and it hits harder than Shadow Strike. Um, the only reason you use it during your Blades is because you still gain enough call points. Um, if you're using Shadow Strike during Blades, and you only have 5 call points thanks to Talents, uh, then you're going to overcap. Anyway, that's uh, going to do for that clip. Let's hop into one more. Alright, here we're playing a regular build again. and We got a game against Survival Hunter and Rested Druid. Basically, we're just going to be trying to kill the Hunter and putting out CC chains on the healer. Pretty standard stuff. Uh, this game is a little bit more of a gimmick game, and I believe that we get out a lot of damage um, very quickly, and the game actually ends kind of earlier than it should have. Um, we get a sap on to the hunter here, and we're just waiting for a uh, druid. There's a, uh, a trap down on top of him, so we use Mindbender to eat the trap so I can open safely without having to burn cloak. Um, I get the sap, and I go in early here. We get onto the hunter with the full cheap shot. I go for a resap, then get a kidney shot off. We get the hunter pretty low here, and we get into void form and forces um, his turtle out and his roar of sacrifice. We actually have Maledict over too, which really helps stall any healing that could have gone out right there. We get the Mind Bomb off, and I go for a Half Blind here, which forces this Trinket, and I duel off to stall the DRs. Um, I vanish so I don't get hit, and I can go for a full sap out of this, but the Hunter died before that. And that was the game. Pretty quality CC chain there, 
And that's probably going to do for this video, guys. I hope you have been enjoying these Shadow Priest Rogue Clips. We're going to hopefully get some more very soon with the dual audio. And I've been enjoying this comp a lot. It's kind of uh, nice to play when 3s is looking kind of weird thanks to some mana changes. But it's a little bit more fun, I think, to play 2s at the moment. And anyway, talk to me in the comments below. Let me know what you think. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe for more, guys. And we'll see you all again very soon.